Hello, welcome back. Andy again at gaatech.com. Okay, this video I'm going to show you how to install the uh, battery side pod mounts onto a DJI Phantom, or you can use these mounts for anything else. But I, I design them mainly to hold a battery, but um, should you need the uh, requirement to attach another piece of equipment to your craft then this may be the answer to you so um, there is two designs uh, we've got the smaller one just here let you have a look and that is pretty much designed for a 220 size lipo as came really people were using these on the on the, the phantom ones uh, and then there's the, the bigger brother which is bigger in size not by much but as you can see 12 mil maybe i can't remember but it's a bit stronger and it will allow a, uh, a much bigger battery now I'm not saying you're going to be putting 5,000 milliamp hour batteries onto your Phantom um, because of the weight issue um, but someone asked me whether I could make a, a, a battery platform for that size battery and that's what I came up with so um, we'll show you the two differences the the beauty with the, the smaller one for the 220 it allows you to mount the battery on the top or under slung now again if you're going to upgrade your phantom to have external batteries uh, and now people are obviously doing this because the phantom batteries are quite expensive for what they are uh, a standard phantom 2 battery is a 5000 milliamp hour something let me just have a quick look to, to remind myself 5200 milliamp hour 11.1 uh, uh, volts 57.72 watt hours um, so you know for that sort of battery um, it is quite expensive so this is idea where people came up and they wanted to use cheaper batteries obviously the, these batteries are very cheap um, uh, and people were putting batteries on the outside so I'm going to show you how to install one of these obviously they come in pairs and you have to install one on both sides to keep your aircraft balanced and then make a, a battery lead to go into your phantom and there's lots of different ways people are doing that um, but all that's going to come in this product is the battery mount um, the uh, the bolts and a velcro fastener so first what I'm going to show you is um, what these little cutouts are for here here and here um, Throughout my modeling career, but when I changed from uh, glow fuel to battery, it was always difficult to stop batteries sliding on the mount. You know, you're having to use uh, Velcro straps, cable ties, whatever you were using to secure batteries onto uh, their mounts, but they would always tend to slide this way. Um, so what I've come up with the idea is you can use standard rubber bands. This is about a, a five mil rubber band and they fit in these slots here and here and oh get on there so that's all they do um so the advantage of having rubber bands on there is is the battery actually wants to grip the rubber so it's okay you know that when the phantom's flying dead level the battery really doesn't move and if you're tilting then the velcro strap which we'll show you in a minute will stop the battery sliding off but you know if you're going backwards and forwards and you're tilting like this the battery wants to slide so we'll just quickly take these rubber bands off again i'm going to demonstrate what i mean now obviously all batteries come in heat shrink so they're very smooth now i did look at using velcro and then putting Velcro on the battery, then trying to put Velcro on here. It all gets a bit messy because obviously these are made for lightness of weight, so there's not much material that you can stick Velcro on. 
I looked at stick on uh, neoprene rubber where I was uh, sticking neoprene rubber down these strips and on the edge but it all starts to look a bit messy so I thought there must be something simple and that's the idea I came with rubber bands now if you don't like the rubber band idea then you don't need to use it but it, it was just an optional extra I designed into this um, battery mount that um, may make it uh, your batch is more secure for you. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how slippery this battery tray is. Not because of my design, it's just obviously flat fiberglass and on heat shrink. So all we're going to do is we're going to tilt the battery. It's actually gripping somewhere. It's, uh, it's gripping on, on the, on the uh, labels on the back. So we're just going to tilt the battery and you can see it's moved already. Let's put the battery connections at the bottom. So, smooth vibe down so the big label is, is on there so it doesn't catch too badly. And if you tilt, see I haven't tilted it very far and the battery's away. Let's do that again. Let's try and get it horizontal with the camera. Tilt and tilt and the battery's gone. So I've only moved 10 degrees maybe, not very much. So now I'm going to put the elastic bands on. So they're not special rubber bands. So the battery, you can see the, the tray's been designed so the battery sits on the rubber band. So let me try and hold this horizontal. And that's way past 45 degrees and it's just moving now. So, uh, and moving very slow. You can see there's much more grip. So once you've got the Velcro um, strap holding it on, Going around, then um, that's it. So uh, while we, I've mentioned the word Velcro, I'm going to talk about the straps. In this mount, unlike some that are on the market, I've allowed you to use one, two, or three Velcro straps. And the way they work is you're going to push the Velcro strap through the bottom, bottom slot that is, so they don't fall out. And then if you want to use two straps, I used to do it on camera. Then that is one strap on. I've actually not put the Velcro straps on, but it's going to give you the idea. Push this one up this way. Two. So obviously you got Velcro underneath, so you can wrap it around Velcro straps. You can trim them down to whatever size um, you, you need. Now I've struggled for a long time to find decent Velcro straps. Um, let me see if I have any on the bench. I'm just going to see whether I can find ones that I ordered and I weren't very happy with. Now what I do, I'll, I'll add it into I'll add it into the video. I was ordering battery straps with the plastic hoops on the end, and I was finding that you was ordering the length that you thought would work with your um, design, but they were they, there wasn't much Velcro on there, and, and they just didn't work. So I will splice into the video um, the straps. So the these straps are velcro type material they're 300 mil long um very very strong if i well, how can i demonstrate this i'm gonna pull this towards me oh i'm really tugging that and it's it stretches a fraction but nothing at all it's not deforming um they're, they're pretty much the same as the tourniquet ones um slightly narrower I think turns you 15 and these are 13 mil um, these ones have a, a very smooth um, felt on the back and hooks that are smooth this, this is more like the traditional velcro strap and these are readily available I found a good supplier for them uh, and I really like them um, 
adjustable to, to any length that you want and if you just uh, if you find it too long you can just trim the end off anyway let's um, get this off and we'll mount one of these on the Phantom so which side should we do so obviously it will fit either side I'm going to show you how to, how to install one of them but obviously you're going to need two to balance your aircraft up so first thing you need to do is take out the four bolts which are secure in the legs Okay, now the four bolts out. So, the legs are now loose, so just make sure that you've got a little bit of free play. When I've taken my Phantom apart, there is free play on the cables. Now, we only need to move up uh, a mil and a half. So, obviously, you've got the cutouts here to allow it to push past the cables. Now, sometimes it's easy. Yes, it's easy this time with the white plugs obviously you've got the white plugs which are the cable protectors um it's easy to push past them on this one obviously where you've got the three cables coming out the ribbon cable for the the gimbal the power cable and antenna um just gotta fiddle it through gonna be easier i think to put that side in first so that side's now in lift that up and it's in so the holes line up again um, because these are not very long bolts uh, you know you only get a couple of turns gripping without any parts being added to it uh, you'll get bolts in the kit which are two mil longer um, because the plate is 1.6 mil in thickness so you'll get the fixing hardware that you need to do it so again put on whatever thread lock you are using make sure it's special thread lock for plastic models so it doesn't dissolve your phantom at the moment these ones i'm showing are hex head but in the kit you might get um phillips heads but th there'd be whatever hardware bolts a, a bolt is a bolt um whether it's hex or phillips again you, you don't need to do these up hard just just finger pressure is plenty and last one going in now again i've, I've obviously not put any form of thread lock on these because i'm going to be taking this off very shortly um, but obviously on your model there's going to be more permanent um, use some form of thread locker so there we are this is the the baby one attached so let me just see if i can show you that a little bit clearer so let me take the other band off for a second so although um these are the, the the fr4 is white but compared to the phantom frame it looks an off-white but i felt it much nicer to have these in a color as close to what i, I can get, could get obviously i've got black fr4 which is very similar to the black carbon i've got red fr4 and i've got the standard green and the standard green is is green green um, so that's green and this is the white but it is a slightly off white but it certainly looks much better than the black ones that I've seen on the on the market so just trying to show
show you that. So, 